All right, so we're going to move from the dominance matrices, so sports, to biology or ecology. Okay, so we're going to yeah look at populations. So um, this is quite useful uh, for biologists and kind of predicting what's going to happen to an endangered species. We've got a bit of data to do this. Um, so the age, so let's go one, two, and three. Oh, what animal should we look at? Maybe, maybe some frogs. <laughs> one. So the current population numbers. How many little babies? Okay, so there's, you know, a couple of one-year-olds, most of them are two-year-olds, and then they're starting to retire at three. <laughs> okay, so we need, obviously, how many there currently is, so you have to actually go out and tag the frogs, or you go have to actually go out and count how many frogs there are. Um, and then you can find the percentage of survival. So this is the current numbers. So in terms of algebra, we have nx, where x is like the age. Okay. Next, we need survival rate. So age again, survival. So survival is with an S. Surprise, surprise. So remember I said they retire at three. So this is the survival rate for the next. This is the survival rate for the next year. So 70% of the one-year-olds will be alive next year. 80% of the two-year-olds will be alive next year. And remember I said all the three-year-olds retiring. Okay. <laughs> Fine, they died, okay. I was trying to keep it PG. <laughs> okay, and then I told you about this thing called the fecund... Fecundity. Any guesses what letter we're using for that? Correct. Okay, so this tells us how many, um, the percentage of the one year olds, females, how many of them are going to produce a baby? Okay. Does that make sense? So 50% of the one-year-olds producing babies. Three-year-old female is producing 1.7 frogs. This one we have the Leslie matrix and the number matrix. The number matrix is very simple. It's just purely the numbers in order of age in a vector or column matrix. Yeah? The Leslie matrix is the tricky one. So you put the fecundity, and I'll just do it algebraically first. Before I fill it in. So you put the fecundity on the top row and then you do a survival diagonal like this. No. So 
these numbers here go on the top row and the survival goes in a diagonal like that. So obviously if there's more, it's going to be a bigger matrix and how many of the two-year-olds survive. Okay. So to find out, so this is N1. So this is the numbers after one year. So the end of the first year, that's how many we have. So to find out N2, so the numbers after the second year, you would do um, L times N1. Three, you do L times N2. Or remember N2 is equal to this. So you could find N3 is equal to L squared times N1. Oh yeah, this is a this is um, assuming that the survival rates are going to stay the same and the fecundity rates are going to stay the same. It's an assumption. So you could predict in 10 years what would happen. What would the L be? To the 9, like that. So the, the first year of observation numbers multiplied by the Leslie matrix to the power of 9. So yeah, this is quite useful in biology predicting you know what's going to happen potentially down the track if the current rate continues so you can predict if they're going to go extinct if they're going to keep flourishing whatever it is okay and this is so here's an example here's an actual example of this so they're kind of like looking at the 10-year extinction so like looking at the proper the populations of breeding females and they found that the extinction probability is greater than 20% if the population is less than 150 breeding females. Oh yeah, that's what I forgot to say. That N number is females. So these numbers here, those are the females. So if you want the total population, what would you assume? There's equal, about the same number of males, frogs, or whatever it is. So you just, if you want the total population, you multiply that number by two. <laughs> All right, well, why don't you try this question, see if you can <laughs> get it right. So the, the 2.4 in the Leslie matrix tells us average number of female children produced by two-year-old female Adults. Make sense? All right, now we need to calculate the female rat population at the start of year two. Which is L times N1. Very good. At the end, end of the second year, you have 122.3 rats that are one-year-olds, 27.5, rats to the two-year-olds and 19.2 rats that are three-year-olds. Okay, so that's the rat population at year two. Now it wants us to find the total after six years. So Leslie matrix to the power of five times the original numbers. Seventy-three. 
half three. Okay, so then we add all those together and you get total female population, 0.1. So then the total would be two times that, right? So let's round up. Okay, 1,535 rats. So things to keep in mind, um, you always do the power one less than the year you're aiming for. Yep. And you always, if it asks for total population, you assume male numbers number of males is equal to the number of female and also round our decimals to a whole okay